Hi, my name's Tom. I was sent this SimPure water purifier to go ahead and tell you all about it, and that's what I'm gonna do. I've been using this for about a week, and I'm really impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features, and then I'm gonna do a water test to show you how pure this water really is. So this purifier is all in one unit. It's actually built to be on a countertop. There's no special plumbing needed, so that's really nice. All you do is you fill the reservoir tank with regular old tap water, you put it on, and here you go. You can go ahead and purify your water and drink it straight from this filter. Watch this. All you do is press the button, give it a second. Sometimes it'll go ahead and take a couple seconds to kind of drip out, but there you go. It can do a cup in about a, in a, couple, uh, a couple seconds. I let it go and it's nice and clean and pure water. It's pulling it right from here into here. This thing holds one gallon. I'm gonna press it and turn it off. It is a uh, touch screen and it works pretty well. It's kind of an instantaneous touch screen. After about five minutes of use, the light will kind of dim or go off, it's kind of the, just to kind of save power. But it's there, you just tap it again and you can keep going. So let's talk about all the features. There's a plug in the back, you just plug it in. This is your water unit. It pops right off. You can see, you can kind of carry it there. It does have a handle for carrying as well. That's nice and easy. You can take it over to the sink. Uh, what it'll do is it'll go all the way down to about the minimum with about a third of a gallon left. You want to go ahead and empty it at that point and then go ahead and refill it with tap water. Once it's filled, you just put it right back on, just like that. There you go. It's nice and secure and you're ready to go. You do have a little drainage tray, which can be removed. There's little magnets to kind of just make it stick there if you don't want that you can remove it and you can actually fit this is a half gallon container i can fit it underneath and i can fill it up just like that if i want to i'm gonna turn it back off but it does fit it does have some space back there so that or your bigger cups will all fit just fine you have three different filters in here ppc ro and a t33 all three of those filters are in the side i'll show you that in a, in a moment you also have when i turn the water on a UV light, that, that little UV indicator means that the light is on right now, it's, it's hitting, it's turned on while it's pouring water in. When I turn it off, it turns off the UV light because there's no need for it at that point. If any of these are blinging, it means you want to go ahead and replace the filter. To replace a filter, you just turn it on its side, open the top, press these little levers, and there you go. There's your three different filters in here. And there's actually, you can just kind of twist them and pop them out and twist a new one in and go back in. Your filters will last between six to 12 months, depending upon how much you're using it. Uh, and they're very easily replaceable. You can find them on Amazon. My entire family has been using this water purifier for about a week now, and it really has kind of changed the way we think about water. A couple great things that I love about this. First of all, the water tastes amazing. It is, we use a water filter on our fridge and we use a water filter in kind of in our house, nothing. Water still tastes a little bit metallic, tastes a little bit, there's just something quite not, not quite right about it. When you put water through this and, you, and it comes out, and I'll show you in the testing, it is truly amazing. It tastes as clean and as pure of water as you can possibly think about. Two, this thing doesn't need any plumbing. I just plug it in and that's pretty much it. You do have to flush it out every so often. There's a little flush button here. There's a whole process. It does come with a really, really good manual. It's kind of a, a, a it kind of talks you all about the different modes and the manuals and the buttons and what you do. Um, it's not actually that complex. It seems a little daunting at first, but it's really not too bad. There's kind of a flush mode where you go ahead and rinse this out every so often and you kind of hit flush and it kind of cleans all the filters out. By flushing the filters out every so often, you actually make them last longer. So that's kind of nice. When you're running this thing, you may see some extra water or foam get pushed into this reservoir. That's okay. This reservoir is for your tap water, your dirty water. When it gets pulled into the filter, it gets clean. So sometimes the filters will actually put out some excess dirt water in here. It's not dirty. It's just not purified yet. That's okay because when you actually go back in, it will get clean with the purifier. It'll go through the UV. It'll go through the PPC, the RO, and the T33. It'll go through all those filters to actually come out as pure as possible. When your water gets down to the, the minimum line, the, the, the 3, 0.3 gallons line, it'll stop. And it'll blink and say, please add water. That means you just pick it up, dump it out, rinse it, put more tap water in here, and you're good to go. To go ahead and test my water, I'm going to use a little water tester. I like this water tester in particular because it came with a little case with a little clip on and that's kind of nice. Um, it has a backlit display and it's got a little gauge on the back that kind of tells me when it gives me a result, I can just look right on the back and I can figure out what's good and what's bad. So this particular water tester is going to tell me the TDS in parts per million PPM and it's going to also got to tell me how uh, 
pure my water is and it has a little a little gauge that says basically average spring water filtered water all that stuff so i'm going to go ahead and use this to go ahead and measure some of the different waters in my house the first thing that i'm going to measure is tap water and the way i do that is i press this and turn it on and it'll sit there for a moment and i'm going to go ahead and just put this in and i'm going to get a number in a second there I'll give it a second kind of register okay i get a 129 for the first measurement for the uh, ppm and i'm going to hit mode and i get 274 for the actual purity or the cleanliness of it so i'm going to go over here so 129 is kind of a little bit above uh 129 there we go up in here so it's very hard water and then we'll uh and then 274 is right here near the 300 so that's not entirely uh it's drinkable but barely so that's kind of the water right out of my tap i've cleared my water meter i'm going to go ahead and pour myself some water straight out of the water purifier again this tastes the best by far Everybody in my family has been shocked at how clean and natural the water tastes. It really is pretty amazing. We have really hard water in our house, and we're all just amazed. There we go. Water straight from the thing. Here's my meter again. Right now it's zero. I'm going to put it in, and I get... Yeah, that's right. This is... Zero on the purity... And let me see here, mode, let me go back down to my PPM, also zero. So this water is so pure that my water meter can't even pick anything up. There's just nothing in it. This is essentially about as pure as water you can possibly get. Uh, and by the way, it just tastes clean. It just tastes good. It's, it's actually a little bit more refreshing than the regular water out of the fridge or the, or the spigot. It's just really remarkable. So if you want to get the best tasting water, if you want to get rid of those hard water tastes, if you want something that really, really does clarify your water, purify your water according to all the tests, this is the water purifier to get. Highly recommended.